Hi everyone, this is a very short video about how to work on web pages. So the first stage is to look at some existing websites. So this is the BBC Bite Size, all about the Maya civilization. So what you can see on here is you've got different sizes of text, you've got pictures, and this piece of text here is called paragraph because it's in a paragraph, whereas this is a headline. And this underlying bit is called a hyperlink, so it will go to a different page when you click on it. So if we just move that to the side, we can look at this, which is called W3Schools, and it's a free website for starting to understand about website building and HTML. So you can see that what we've got here is we've got a title, but that title does not appear on the actual page. It just tells um, the program what it's about, so it could be stored. If we just zoom in a little bit, you can see that we've got some tags. That's the official name. So there's a tag, and there's a tag. So I don't know if you can notice the difference between those tags. H1 is the start of the line and then slash it's called. It's like a little a diagonal line, line. That means it's the end of the headline. So what that will mean is that the headline will stop just here at the end of that bit here and then we'll go into a paragraph and that's represented by the letter P. It's really interesting to notice that at the end of the paragraph you use the same code which is that diagonal line. So once you've done your web page and you can view it you try and copy that code you copy and paste that particular code and you put it into something called Notepad, which is a free bit of software on a Windows machine. And then the last thing you have to do is you have to save it. And you save it in a particular format. So say this is the main page, you might call it home page dot htm. Notice that you don't put the L in, no L. You save that, and then what you can do is you can open it, and it'll open inside a browser, such as Firefox or Safari. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll understand what we've been talking about.